going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel welcome back to the bouldering gym it's time to make another voice over for this uh, five hour monster session of mine which i conducted recently and yeah i thought i'd give you a, pre a pretty detailed um, impression of what these what this workout looked like because i made an effort to kind of document everything as um, accurately as possible in my notes in my training notes so yeah that's what i'm gonna uh, talk about here now and the first thing that i want to say here is that i started this workout with a pretty extensive warm-up and yeah it took me a little took me about 30 minutes i guess even but I have to say that I met a couple of people and you know we talked a little bit about the about the traveling and what the training is going like and stuff like that so I lost a bit of time talking chit chatting you know as it is in the gym but yeah I could get a pretty nice warm up done and I did also a lot of stretching as you can see here um, as you know I only like to stretch the legs in front of a climbing workout because I have the impression that it improves your footwork significantly so yeah that's basically the only body part I really stretch other than that I like to mobilize my upper body especially and that's what you saw before I like to rotate my arms I like to rotate my upper body maybe lift some easy weights you know to wake that muscles up and yeah here you can see I'm trying to do the splits again I have to stay I have to say the flexibility is actually going uh, back to normal again last week I had the impression that I lost quite a lot of flexibility actually because obviously in, in Mexico I didn't stretch a lot unfortunately but it's coming back quite quickly and what you can see here is yet another waking up exercise for the uh, upper body so to say I like to do this as you may already know for body strength this is actually a pretty nice body strength exercise when you add some weights like I do it here but you have to be careful that your back stays straight as I point out here just take a look at this back it's always as straight as possible definitely try to avoid making a round back when doing this exercise so yeah and after that I already hit the 45 degree overhanging wall <clears throat> where I started my bouldering session so to say with some easy hangs on some big holds as usual and then I proceeded to doing a little bit of brachiating a little bit of uh, so to say bouldering with swinging feet as always and I could already notice the first improvements compared to last week. I don't know, the lock of power felt differently this time. It was already better. And um, so it's, yeah, I think it's definitely going uphill. As you can see, I'm trying here a couple of brachiating boulders. I already have three of those in my bouldering list, which I'm going to show you a bit, a bit later on. And this uh, brachiating boulder was actually, I, I, ma I managed to do it for the first time during this session, so I was quite happy about that. Incorporates also some smaller holds, as you can see, not only jugs. Here are definitely some gains noticeable. And then I already started with the actual bouldering session. And with this boulder you should actually already be familiar, I showed you this in my last um, kind of fitness check episode and I struggled quite a lot with getting it, it done during this uh, last fitness check so to say. And this time it went down quite easily almost on the first go and actually it went down then on the third go because I slipped, slipped off quite a lot on these uh, slopers. 
it was quite a hot day and yeah i didn't have too much <laughs> too much chalk on my skin so yeah in the third attempt this went this one went down so quite happy about that that means i had time to try uh, my second bowler that i actually already showed you as well in my last uh, fitness check episode but i think i didn't i couldn't get it done back then so yeah this one went down quite quickly as well in my fourth attempt i think here in this go i am still falling at the crux move i think and uh, here i didn't get this pinch right so in my fourth attempt i could grab the pinch in the right way and stick this crux move finish this bowler off the two bowlers from last week already feel significantly easier this week so there is definitely some progress and now i've got two more problems for you where you can still find out the beta we've got this start hold here with one spux for stepping then this big sloper another strange shoulder hold this edge here this orange pinch and this violet side pull we've got a green edge big red moon and the bar is the top so you can of course pause the video here again if you want to try the solution if you want to try to find a solution yourself and yeah it's actually a pretty nice bowler not too complex pretty straightforward as you can see and for me the crux move is always the move onto this green edge i don't know you have to strangely push out of the red of, of the right shoulder out of this kind of black pinch here and once you have this green edge the next move is actually pretty hard as well for me because i want to avoid full crimping this green edge and if i if i have to take it with the half crimp it's quite bad actually so here again starting moves and actually in the second go i already could stick here this crux move for me and pretty closely i already uh, could stick the next move as well onto this pinch and from there it's funnily not so uh, hard for me to climb it the more people actually have troubles in the upper section of this boulder which is quite interesting for me because that's actually the part which uh, is more easy for me so as you can see got this done in the second attempt which was pretty cool as well and now i'll show you actually this uh, boulder list here as you can see I'm, i like to make little sketches of this wall with some holes this was boulder five by the way um, in case you uh, you can you can recognize it so i like to do this and i also like to tick off how often i climbed each boulder as kind of a motivation you know i want to get as much ticks done as possible so let's proceed to the fourth and last boulder of this boulder session another one where you can find the solution yourself let's check it out so we've got these two starting holes here one spark foothold below for starting and then this quite interesting hold here kind of slopey these two big volumes here are additional footholds and from this sloper hold it goes to this big red sloper hold another big sloper pinch here here we got this blueberry as we call it another sloper basically and the red moon again and then up to the bar pretty awesome project by the way i didn't invent these last two boulders myself there was a friend of mine of the gym a pretty good job and these boulders are actually quite good to climb on especially this one as it has a pretty funky beta at the beginning you kind of have to um, step the one uh, volume with your right foot and make a toe hook at the, at the same time with your left foot on the other wall then you have a really big reach onto this first um, red sloper here and that's really funny because as you grab the sloper your toe hook starts to pull you know you start to grip with your toes so this actually allows you to um, hold this position as you can see here and now you're kind of hanging in this position allowing your right foot to release and then you make the second toe hook with your left uh, foot on this green one if you manage to do it like in this uh, shot here and you match this red sloper pretty big cool jumping move onto this big sloper pinch the next hold and from there it's actually getting pretty pretty tough at least for me you have to place another heel hook onto this um, red sloper here and then you fully lock off this sloper pinch with your with your right hand in order to reach this blueberry sloper and as you can see this uh, this red sloper here is already pretty slippy because a lot of people use this sloper in their boulders 
also for stepping and stuff so it's really really greasy already and as you can see here I almost um, got this move done for me it's like the hardest move of this uh, whole problem and yeah here as you can see I think this was my closest attempt to get it done so yeah I'm definitely sure it's possible but I was already pretty tired in this session so this is I think something for next time and as you can see um, then you basically grab the red moon with the right heel hook and match it go to the bar and that's it for this bouldering session took me two hours and 30 minutes to complete it uh, here you can see some cooldown moves of mine and I, I made a kind of a tick list to to see how often I actually hit the wall and I went to the wall 26 times exactly 26 times I didn't really record my average resting time between the attempts in this session. I plan to do this in another session as well to give you even more of an insight of what these sessions look and feel like, you know, so that they can maybe replicate this more accurately. So the next stop was the gym. I wanted to get some lock off power done and the, here I'm actually going to show you a pretty effective method to get the one armor done for, every, for those of you who want to try this. So here you can see some warm-up pull-ups and what you want to use is this machine and it's kind of an um, unconventional method I would say to, to use this machine for one arm. First you have to switch the grip to this kind of thing so that you have a solid connection and then what you want to do is you um, just basically take this one-handed and pull it down. And as you can imagine, you can um, adjust the weights pretty accurately, so you have a good way of measuring your progress in the form of numbers. And as you can see, I'm starting here with doing some warm-up pulls with, with three repetitions. I think that's 45 kilos there. And I repeat this one more time with 50 kilos. I always do two minutes rest between my sets. So I, as you can see I was already done with the 50, going up of 55 kilograms. Here I only can do two repetitions. So I'm doing this kind of a pyramid style, you know. I start at a low weight with more repetitions, with three repetitions. And then I go up and up and up until I reach a point where I can only do one repetition. And in this session this point was reached at 60 kilograms. So as you can see I'm doing two more minutes rest and then I go up to 60 um, where I only can do one big super hard repetition and you know that so that's basically what one armors are all about it's maximum power one repetition you will really want to get into the intramuscular coordination of your whole um, lock off apparatus you know and also try to focus on the negative really really make the negative slowly and I think in this session I managed to do three sets on a 60 kilograms, then I went down to 55. And as you can see, the 5 kilogram steps are of course pretty rough steps. So, And here you have the opportunity to use these fitness traits here to make smaller steps in between your progression. So I went down from 60 to um, 57.5. Now this is a 2.5 kilogram fitness trade here. And what I basically did was I made six more sets on the 57.5 kilograms to make up a total of 10 sets with one repetition only. And after that I made some cooldown pull-ups as you can see. And what I did afterwards was I added a few, a couple of body strength moves um, to this session so that I get, can get a whole upper body destruction in because I knew tomorrow is going to be a rest day anyway so I wanted to really um, you know, go to my limit, get a couple of muscle aches done and as you can see here there's the, the exercise that I already showed you in the warm up. Then I did a couple of push ups um, on the rings you know. Rings are always a great tool for body strength, uh, as I show in my um, ring tutorial. And then here I think a couple of flies even. So actually the body strength thing went quite well. You know, I was quite surprised. I didn't lose a lot of fitness in this department, I think. And what you notice when you do flies, by the way, if you are um, getting tired, you will notice that you m work more out of the elbow, as you can see. That's a sign for you that you should stop, you know, and maybe save some energy for your next set. 
Here you can see this front lever ups, which is in my opinion a super good way to train your um, uh, abdominal muscles. So yeah, only three repetitions, that's enough. Um, and finally I also did some handstand push-ups. And what I did was basically I did three sets of everything that I just showed you. So that's another 45 minutes for the body strength part of this, sessions, of this session. So here you have the stats. So I hope I could deliver some tips and training motivation to you guys. As always, thanks for your attention. Thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. And um, yeah, leave some likes and comments in the comment section if you got something from this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.